the Bible says, and I saw a great white throne and him that sat upon it from whose face the earth and heaven fled away and there was found no place for them and I saw the dead small and great stand before God and the books were open and another book was open which is the book of life and the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works and the sea gave up the dead which were in it and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them and they were judged every man according to their works and death and hell were cast into the lake of fire the Bible says that this is the second death and whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire ladies and gentlemen take a take a good listen to what the word of God is saying about those who are not found written in the book of life ladies and gentlemen there's only two places two places where your soul can go after death according to the Bible the Word of God either you will be in heaven with God the Father the Lord Jesus Christ the Holy Spirit and the redeemed of all history are hell with the devil his angels and the wicked of all history to be tormented for eternity a lot of people know what time is but eternity sets a different category ladies and gentlemen in eternity there is no time there is no well, well you'll go to hell for about two years eternity is forever and this today ladies and gentlemen is what people should understand they need to understand this but they choose not to understand it they do not want to understand it there is no reincarnation no purgatory no nirvana no paradise with virgins pleasures of carnal no mere end to the life forever in the grave pushing up daisies and becoming food for worms no mystic spirits to guide you or lead you into some state of bliss and harmony that your guru or shaman taught to you you are going to come to the end of your life by some means question is is any one of you prepared today to leave most people will say well I'm not ready to to, to die but they sure are living like it they're living totally opposite whether you are like it or not somehow they find it offensive or narrow-minded the sovereign Lord creator and sustainer of all life and design made only one way to eternal life and salvation and that is only through his son Jesus Christ the Lord Jesus Christ period you will never be able to do anything in your own power or ability to make yourself righteous before him the word of the mighty God tells us that salvation is from the Lord it's, it's not from your welfare office 
It's not from the things of this world. The word of God says that salvation is from the Lord. But the world tells you to look for salvation in the religion. I'm not religious. God is calling you into a relationship. And him alone. God is not calling you to have an open relationship. God bless you. Thank you. He's not telling you to, to, to live any other way. God wants you to live unto him. He gave us the instructions on what we should do, how we should do it, when we should do it. Nobody here in Journal Square will have an excuse when they stand before God in judgment. They will not be able to say, Lord, I did not know. They will not be able to say, well, Lord, if you give me extra time, I will can know. God is saying today, now is the time. And it's only through Jesus Christ. You can embrace him as Lord and Savior or reject his offer of salvation and peace and go your way. And the Bible tells us that narrow is the way. Narrow is the way, straight is the gate to Jesus. If you reject God, you're taking the broad path and many are on it. They're on their way to hell. And they're fine with it because they don't fully understand what awaits them. We're looking at here and right now. God is telling you this ain't it. I am bound by the spirit of God. And the truth of his word to warn each and every one of you passing through here. Warn you of what you will face at the end of your life if you continue to turn down the gift that God is offering you. His gift of mercy, grace. Satan does not want you to know that. That's why he just wants you to move on by. But God wants you to accept him. Too much time have we spent in rejecting the Lord. Suffering needlessly. God is saying without him, you are on your way to hell. Oh, is it because I'm a bad person? No. It's because you reject him. You turn away from him. You say you don't need him. Which the word of God describes as a place of eternal fire, punishment. Matthew chapter 25, 41. Out of darkness and eternal destruction in the lake of fire. This is reality. Reality. And the choice is yours, ladies and gentlemen, today. Hell was created to be a place of punishment specifically for the devil and his angels. But will also be the eternal abode of the wicked, disobedient, and those who have rejected the gospel. You know, those who walk on by. We see this in the book of Matthew, chapter 10, verse 15. Romans chapter 2 verse 8 Revelation 21 verse 9 God has given you every opportunity It will also be where the beast The antichrist The false prophet Where they are going to be thrown Alive To suffer Torment for their wickedness. God is very serious about this. 
Does he want you to go to hell? No. You send yourself there. When you reject the gift, the opportunity. Like for some people, they say, well, I'll go to jail because I did something wrong. No, they send themselves there because they commit the act of crime. Same way. It's the same wavelength. Along with all of those who have taken the mark of the beast and worship him during the coming global tribulation. Let me present to you what it is about to take place on earth according to the word of God prophecy and show you that this does not have to be your fate. It's so sad that people choose to go to hell. They choose the stubbornness. They choose. It's a choice. No one's got a gun to your head. No one is telling you nothing. The word of God is screaming out to you. Don't reject Jesus Christ. One day in the future, the Lord Jesus Christ will appear in the clouds and announce by the trumpet of the archangel. And at that moment, all the dead in Christ will rise from their graves. Be given new incorruptible bodies and united with their souls, as will most Christians who are alive at that time. All believers will be caught up in the air to meet the Lord and will be with him always. This is an event known as the rapture of the church. But I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, the question is, will you be a part of it? If you have given your life over to Jesus Christ, you will be in this departure. If not, you will be left behind watching CNN as they begin to describe to you what took place, you know, mixed in with lies because they got to lie to you. Left behind to endure the horrors of what the word of God refers to as the great tribulation. I warn you, each and every one of you today, repent of your sins. Let this be a priority. Like it's a priority for you to eat, let a priority be for you to accept Jesus, to know about Jesus. When I first heard about Jesus, I didn't just dismiss him. I said, I got to know about this person to see if it's real or fake. I used to laugh at people who did this. I ain't know no better. Now God says, now you're doing the same thing. Because I didn't understand what they were doing, what they were preaching about. But before then, I was just laughing. Now it's not all fun and games. When I found myself stuck between a rock and a hard place in life. And it took the power of God to lift me up. I'll tell you today, ladies and gentlemen. It does not have to be. We make these choices, but we do not have to make those bad choices. We can make a choice to serve Christ. We can make a choice to live for Christ. This is not for showing games. This is reality. You will witness the rise of individual along with an associate who will bring order to the confusion and chaos that will follow the rapture. It will probably take some time to do this. And he will organize a, a government system that will be global in nature with one currency. And the binding of all world religions, one category into one category the establishment of a temporary fatigade of peace the word of God says this in the book of Daniel chapter 9 verse 27 Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 3 
First John chapter 2 verse 18 God's word speaks about the future it's important for us to take heed now you will have to make a choice whether to take this human monsters identification mark in order to survive are rejected and be a fugitive possible martyr especially if you come to Christ at that time if you take the mark and swear allegiance to this coming world leader you are co-signing your soul to hell do you want this that's the question you have to ask yourself today a lot of us like to run from questions we don't like to know what the future is it scares us but I'm telling you with God you do not need to live in fear for the Word of God says that he has not given us a spirit of fear and when you wear this face mask and when you open your arms up to take this poison you're living in fear oh oh well how can you say that if I'm just trying to protect myself trust in Jesus Christ I don't need a mask I don't need a vaccine God does all the work all I do is walk by his spirit all I do is read his word Jesus Christ says that man lived not by bread alone but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of the Lord that's what some of you today are missing you're missing that part and God today can fill your soul where you do not have to live in fear no longer meanwhile a, a series of, of judgments from the from 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 God occurs and will increase the misery the death and the hardship the worshipers of the beasts will blaspheme God and along with other rebels undergo perpetual suffering as punishment for their sins the question is today do you want that again okay, ladies and gentlemen I ask you do you want that if there's an opportunity for you to do right wouldn't you want to take the right path There will be a multitude who will come to Christ during this time called the tribulation. Cannot be counted. Through the preaching of the 12,000 Jewish evangelists, the two witnesses and an angel, through the Holy Spirit's power of restraining evil has been lifted. He will still be present on the earth to convict draw people to Christ for salvation ladies and gentlemen I tell you the beast will severely persecute the Jews the Christians he will be determined to execute all of them of speaking the future but not before the Lord Jesus returns and in glory to the earth to rescue his people destroying the works of the devil and his followers and establish his kingdom on earth with Jerusalem as his capital where he will rule and reign with him for a thousand years this is what the Word of God says the devil will be bound in the bottomless pit during this time and then be released to lead one final rebellion against God and his people so remember ladies and gentlemen if you're living in sin you're living in rebellion against the Creator there is no which ways about it. Some people say, well, I don't believe that. That's your detriment. 
whether you believe God is real or not, that don't change his existence. Our belief in God or not, that don't change God from being where he is or not. God is still in control. He is still sovereign. He is still calling people to repentance. Satan will be cast into the lake of fire for eternity along with his followers, never to cause evil or chaos again. And all of those who practice in sin, they follow him, they will go to. They will be going into destruction with him. And again, the question is, do you want this? That is what God today is asking you each and every day that you wake up. God is asking you that question. Do you, do you want it? Do you, do you want that to be your end game? There will be bought up out of Hades in the sea will give up his dead. The bodies of every spiritual lost person will be reunited with their soul. The heavens then depart. The damned will have no place to hide or any defense attorneys to plead their case. There will be no plea bargains with God. No plea agreements with God. And the decision of the righteous judge, the Lord Jesus Christ, will be final. The Muslim is going to find out real fast that he was much more than just a prophet. With your life as the evidence upon which he will convict and sentence you. Your destiny will be the lake of fire and its torments forever. And again, God is asking you, do you want this to be your eternity? Do you want this to be your eternity? God is speaking to the hearts and minds of the people today. Do you want this to be your eternity? God wants you to ask this question. Better yet, answer it. Answer it in your heart. There will be those who were openly agnostic towards God. One lady just walked by here earlier and said she's an atheist. No need to believe in God. Pointless. I said the atheists, they're atheists that went to hell. They're no longer atheists. They now believe in Jesus. All of this does not have to be. You can accept Jesus Christ today. And God is warning you right now, telling you today that Jesus Christ, God bless you. Jesus Christ is the only way. Don't look to money, don't look to face masks, don't look to vaccines, look to Jesus. Be covered under the blood. Because the world want to give you all these things. People walking outside. <laughs> People walking outside with face masks on. Take off the mask and breathe the air that God gave you. Don't be under the deception. Oh, they say, well, my auntie, my uncle died and all these other people died. And How do we know? How do we know? Deception is, is running rampant across the earth right now. They're attacking India. They're saying, oh, in India got all these cases, these COVID cases. Because India did not want to participate in the deception. They got to make them, they got to teach them a lesson. So I'm praying for my, my brothers and sisters in Christ in India right now who are suffering on top of the persecution. We need to be praying for these people because this very same swing of the bat is coming to the United States next. So I'm, ladies and gentlemen, I tell you, it's all a setup to set you up, to bring you farther away from God. So far, you don't even know his name. God wants you to believe in him today and you can 
participate in that opportunity in the gift that he has for you right now. You can receive real life. You do not have to walk unto death. You can walk to life. Hell does not have to be your destiny. Heaven can be your destiny. Receive the purpose. Christ is waiting for you. There will be ones who were at the best. They did not care one way or another about the issues of right and wrong and were more interested in themselves than others. The religious will be there. They were the ones who attended the church or were ministers and elders or had positions in, of respect in communities or faiths apart from the Christianity. Their common bond was that none of them had a relationship with Jesus Christ and had false converts who had paid lip service to the Lord but did not live a life dedicated to the Lord. Is that you today? Walking around General Square. God bless you, God bless you. Every one of these people will be shown their works listed in God's books where everything was recorded and nothing hidden. That is why, ladies and gentlemen, today is important for you to acknowledge God. It's important for you to repent to God. I'm not telling you to go to a priest. I'm not telling you to pray to Mary. I'm telling you to pray to Jesus Christ because he will be the judge in the end and you will stand before him in all of his glory and give an account for the things that you have done. Every one of these people will be shown their works. Death and hell no longer needed or wanted or Cast into the lake of fire where the devil and his demons and the beast and the false prophet are and will be in torment and eternal punishment. They never leave. They never can and never will. The unredeemed have all been tried and sentenced to eternity in the lake of fire as well and have seen the face of the Lord Jesus Christ for the final time. Like I said, there's no atheists in hell. There is no agnostics in hell. Notice how these people give the title almighty power or some power or something, but they won't give God his proper title. They won't acknowledge God. We know, we know who God is. We believe in God. You know who God is. You just don't live for him. And God's saying today, you can. Maybe the struggle is, 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 is hard. I know some, some people who, who receive persecution from their family members because they became Christians. Amen. God bless you. But I'm telling you that God's word tells us that we are going to be persecuted. I'm being persecuted right now. Standing right here. You should see some of the looks on some of these faithful faces when they walk by. I'm just trying to warn them. I'm just trying to warn them. If I was warning you about another 9-11, you would be like, sir, where, where can we need to call the FBI? But because I because I tell you about Jesus, oh. It's fairy tales. I don't need to listen to this guy. He's crazy. Will I be so crazy when you see everything in the Bible begin to happen? Oh, it's already happening. My bad. Just look in the book of Matthew, chapter 24. We read the newspaper. Look, hell, Jersey, uh, Jersey Journal is right there. They did a story about me. We read their newspaper. We have no problem reading the newspapers. But we got a problem reading the word of God. Why? Because Satan does not want you to know the truth. He wants you to be so far away from a Bible you don't even have to spell it. He wants you to live in torment. He wants you to live in torment. And some of you are already beginning that torment. You just don't realize it because it's mixed. It's mixed in a hard life. Eternity of misery and torment now sinks into their condemned souls. These are the people that are going to go to hell. Again, ladies and gentlemen, the question is, do you want to go? Do you want to go? Just if you want to go, continue doing what you're doing. A one-way ticket. 
God does not want you to take that. These people who are going to hell, they are doomed forever without hope. Can you imagine being in a situation where there's no hope for you? Can you imagine being in a situation where the people tell you there's no hope for you? You're done. You're finished. Cut off. That can be you. That can be you. If we ignore Jesus Christ, there's only death that awaits. And I'm not talking about a physical death. I'm talking spiritual. They will be under the wrath of God. And there will be no relief for them forever. It sounds unbelievable, but it's reality. Because God already told us. They are thrown into the lake of fire and we join, they will join the screams and agony of the rest of the unredeemed. And what will be their dwelling place? With no end. You know how people get sentenced to prison and there's an end? Got three years in jail. Some of them, some got four months. So there's a, there's a point where you're going to come out of jail. There's a point where a person that gets sent to prison, they're going to be released. In hell, there is no release date. That's reality. There is no release date. There is no, well, I lived in sin all my life, so I'm going to go to hell and I'm going to stay there for a little while. A little while. When you step into eternity, there is no time. You will be in this group or have you made peace with God through Jesus Christ? That is the question. While you're walking through here, think about it. Get that issue settled now. 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 2. Get that issue settled now. God is ready to save and forgive you. Come on now, are you there? God is ready, ready, wanting you to step forward. But a lot of people are not willing to let go of the sin. God wants you to step forward. Turn to him. Believe in him. So he can set you free. Ladies and gentlemen, the time is now. To turn to Christ. He is ready to save you. You may feel like you don't need to be saved. But if you could see all the sin and wrath stored up. Like on a credit card, you can see the debt that you stored up. All the payments that you got to pay. But one thing that God wants people to understand is that Jesus Christ paid the price in full. All they have to do is come forward to Christ and to come forward we need to let go of the sin we need to let go of the rebellion we need to let go of these things you are a fool if you walk away from your only hope of mercy grace Do not ignore or laugh this off, please. Once you take your last breath, your opportunity to make things right with the Lord will be gone. And that is why God today is telling us to repent. Repent of our sins. Surrender our life to Christ today. And receive the gift of eternal life in the heavenly home that is awaiting you. God is warning you today. Disaster is coming. Like a lion that has come up from his lair, the one who destroys nations has set out from his throne. Now is the time, ladies and gentlemen.